Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I'm a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on April 16th, 2022 at approximately 4.01 a.m. PST. Well, when I was talking yesterday, I mentioned that I was going to, we were going to take a look at the brain today. The brain of your house and home. This is the, this brain is essentially the union between the cerebral cortex, you, and your brain, your, the finances, your house, which is basically, the house boils down to the overall body that you're living in, okay, and the home, which is what your heart takes care of. But today we're going to look at where the brain itself. Okay, now, you know, some might think this is brain food. It's actually a very weak coffee, but my nutritionist did tell me point blank that what it boils down to is flavored water because I drink it very weak. This does not make it necessarily a good thing, but they don't mind it ain't killing me, so what the heck. <clears throat> so, we're sitting here looking at the brain, how your house operates. And the backbone of the operation of your house is, frankly, the money side of it, the material world. Now, I don't have a lot of interest in it, or more to the point, I didn't have a lot of interest in the world. Most of that was, frankly, self-protection. In other words, I never really, until recently, understood the importance of, the, of finances. I mean, yes, I knew how to make them work. Okay. I definitely knew how to make them work. But what I didn't have was that neat little concept. And where did I put it? Right there. I don't think you can see it, but what the heck. Put that out of the way. And we turn that just a little, and you might be able to see it, can you? Yeah, that piece of wood sitting down there. That went right about there. Okay. That has the four most important words in any language that I know of, okay, where it comes to rebuilding self-esteem, self-worth, self-motivation. The four words on that sign are, I am worth it. Now, I talk about everything being linked. Before I get into this, if you like the video, do give us a thumbs up. Okay, it would be really appreciated. And please remember to subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of information. We're finally getting things organized. It's amazing what happens when you get the energy running in your, in your, in the brain, in the office. Okay, some people talk about, you know, needing, requiring a coffee first thing in the morning. It's not so much I require coffee as I don't like the flavor of the water around here. So I make coffee. I just make it very weak. But the important factor from your standpoint is let's get the energy in the brain moving properly. Okay, there's a lot of odds and ends I do. Yeah, snack food. And I got a nice little place down there out of the way. When you're working on, when you're trying, when you're striving to get your body working properly, the brain of the house working, it is absolutely imperative. That you get the that you get the clutter out of the way. Okay, yeah, I'm moving things around a little bit, but that's because that's what I do. I ended up going to bed late last night. It's really bad when you think about it. I wasn't in bed until somewhere after midnight, and here I am back at work. Gee, can anybody say possibly a workaholic or just too much on the go? I don't know. In all fairness. I don't consider it a workaholic. I do. I enjoy what I do. Okay. Oh, before I forget, before we get carried away, it is four o'clock here right now. In four hours, I'm going live on. I'm going live on YouTube. Okay. So, and there I will be saying what I'm aiming at talking about is the actual similarities not between not just between all peoples like all humans but the similarities between the off-worlders the different races that 
evolved on different planets. You don't have to believe whether they're there or not. That's not the issue here. And the and the similarities with the ancient races. Races that you believe that most of us have been taught to believe are mythological. Okay. I'm going to be focusing on the similarities, some of the different cultures involved, the reasons why things are saying the way they are. In any event, let's get back to the brain, shall we, and the way that they, they, we get your world working properly in the here and now, in the material world. Okay, we get the energy moving around first. Now, I've got the, I've got the sign that I've already talked about, and then we have this, and I know I've shown it to you. I cannot tell you how, I cannot overstate how important this is. Okay, now this says, I have legally acquired a minimum of $3,500 by April 30th, 2022 at one minute to midnight. Okay, now the reason, now do understand that 35 in a nutshell is this, you require you require a certain amount of money to gen to cover household expenses, your rent or mortgage, your utilities, primary would be your power, your transportation, insurance, food, entertainment, savings, all of these things add together. Now for me, I started when I started looking at it, I required twenty five hundred. Okay. So for me that's where I started, but as you can see, I'm sitting at 3,500. Okay, meaning I'm generating more than what I require, and there is, an, there is a reason for that. But when you look at this amount, okay, when you look at this statement here, write it down exactly, okay? Not, I, not, I am going to generate, in how you write it in the present tense. Now, this other statement down here, Okay, this statement down here is because I run my own business from home. Inner Voice Enterprises, IVE, has legally generated a minimum of $600 by April 30th, 2022 at 23.59. In other words, one minute to midnight on the last day of April. Now, the $600 listed here, is included in this 3500 this is the entire household from everything coming into your house in your home okay everything coming in gets listed and gets counted towards this the 600 that is to run my business okay now i keep that very handy okay it's not hanging up on the wall but frankly i can't reach over my desk to do so so i don't bother where are my glasses? Right there, okay. Take my glasses off, you can't see that. You'll notice on the back wall over here, that's where I keep my business license, where it's, where it's right, easy to read, okay, easy for me to come across. Right below it on the counter, right below it on the shelf right here. Yeah, I cannot turn this around. This is why I don't back up in the car very much. Okay, over here, on that table, you can't see it, obviously. I'm a bit of a dinosaur, so that is a physical calendar. Okay, but it keeps me on top of what I'm doing. Okay. So, we're looking at the way the brain works. And you'll notice I'm getting the energy moved around. What I'm talking about here is simple. Okay. This is just getting the energy in the house, in the in the office, in the brain of the house, moving properly. Okay. Now this fine little thing here, which one was this? Okay, that can be folded up. This is all receipts I have to go through. They will be gone through the day. But I desire them out of my way. So they are. And then these, and this is what is called old paperwork that I've got to file. This is notes I've made. As you can tell, I don't always throw things away. Not necessarily a bright idea. Okay. 
But by doing this, don't always throw things away, but on the other hand, I have a lot of things that I, I end up with a lot of scrap paper on occasion. So one advantage, when you think of it, it's the one very definitive advantage of having, of having a, okay, we'll try that again. One advantage of having a computer. Okay, is it cuts down on the amount of paperwork, the drawback of paper usage. Now, fortunately, paper is being recycled. Probably not anywhere close to what it should be, but at least it's a start. And I have started moving stuff onto my computer, whereby I get rid of the paperwork. But that's scrap paper that's already been dealt with, and therefore I can write. This, on the other hand, is my is my list for today and as you can see it's already growing rather nicely now this is the other trick that i use quite regularly and i still don't know what i did with that so it's got to be up front this list is the way way and especially if you happen to be into feel that you may be adhd or add this list is not a cure for it but it is a coping mechanism Okay, by putting this list together, these are things that you that you feel have to be done. We'll get to that in 10 seconds. Okay, but you keep that list to thing into tasks that are only 15 minutes to half an hour in length. By doing that, you will be able to get things organized and get them completed. The nice part about it is that as you get them completed, you get to check them off. And then you will, you will have physical, quantifiable proof that you got something accomplished. Okay. And I'm going to, as a matter of fact, um, we are going to do this. This list is for, is for whatever I'm working on. Tomorrow is the 17th. Just making a note to make sure that tomorrow... When I start, when I go back and deal with the home, we start dealing with the with the step by step way of correcting, of clearing the clutter, because the biggest problem we have in any part of it, including the brain, okay, including you know, the heart of your, the the backbone of your house, the biggest problem most people have is yes, I require the clutter to go away, but where do you start? Well, you start by getting organized. No, you start by recognizing that, that it's required and then by getting that heart drive to actually make it happen. But one of, the, one of the big steps is getting organized. And that's where this list comes in. Um, oh, let's just mark that this way. So what I'm doing, what I've just done, is put a note on on my on my list for tomorrow and you'll see how that works because you write down the first three okay every time you chant that the, you check one off you check it off and you write down a third one at the bottom of the list in this fashion you will stay on top of the game now don't forget when i'm talking about a list you require you do still require entertainment time for yourself. And by the way, that's one of those areas where where we look at it and go, no, we're not talking 15, you know, 15 minutes, maybe a half an hour. Your entertainment may take up more time. But don't forget that by putting that list together, when you get to the point of, okay, I'm taking a break for entertainment. When you get done, whatever it is you're doing, you go back to that list and you've already got the list listed. The list listed. That's good. You've already got the list intact and set to go so you know what is required. This will help you stay on top of the game. Okay. Now, I'm very happy to say I've made some decisions and it really is an important factor. You know, I'm supposed to go to get blood work done and this is the brain at work. I'm supposed to go and get blood work done to find out what my sugar levels are like, whether or not my blood pressure is right. Well, here's the funny part about it. Um, hey, you're not supposed to do that. Here's the neat part about it. 
I picked up when my blood pressure when my blood pressure went all over the place a while ago. Okay, my brain goes, I've got to get it intact. I've got to get it in track. So I picked up this funny little thing, blood pressure machine. Okay. And the neat part there is that I've been keeping very close tabs on. But because I've been keeping close tabs on it, I know when I go to get my blood work done and go and talk to the doctor and she's going, we got to take your blood pressure, you know, to find out where it is. I have quantifiable proof on that physical calendar behind me of where I've been checking my blood pressure and what my blood pressure has been sitting like. Blood pressure, pulse, you know, the whole nine yards on that little machine. Technology is a good thing. That's one of the few things that has continued working, possibly because I only use it periodically. Okay, but again, this is organization that is required. Now, I have decided, I may be too late, but I'm going to check with the, check at the lab if they're open and get my blood work done and go and talk to the doctor. I wasn't going to, because here's the thing for me. And this is what goes on inside your brain. This is that issue of balancing back and forth. For me, I go and get my blood work done. They take a look at it and go, your blood and blood sugar is not balanced. Fine. And, then, of course, they'll say, your blood sugar is not balanced and we need to put you on this medication. I'm going to look at them and go, no. You need to tell me what food, what actual food, not what medication, not what extract, but what actual food will help balance that. That's what you require. Or that's what I require. I don't, I'm not taking the medication. When I had my blood pressure checked when I had the stroke, right, they went, oh my gosh, your blood pressure is way up here. And it's got to come down. I took, I, they told me I'd be on blood pressure medication for the rest of my life. They were wrong. I'm not. And my blood pressure is absolutely bang in the middle. Right, it stays there most of the time. Now it fluctuates like everybody's. But I keep an eye on. Okay, I'm going to be doing the same thing with my sugar levels. Now, I've been talking about finances. I've got this one bill that somebody they what they did was they pushed through a marketing a marketing package that I specifically told them not to push through. I told them flat out cancel it. Well what they did was they didn't cancel it. They put it through, and now they're and now they're telling me I have to pay for it, which to me is what's called a fraudulent charge. Now if I can figure out how to get around paying it at all. I will. If not, I'm working on other ways of dealing with it. I've got no interest in paying the bill because I told them don't put it through. Okay, but this is where the idea of you must be true to you. First comes in. Now, I only follow three laws. Okay, but if you look at all the laws you follow, whether they're, whether they're spiritual, legal, family, support group, doesn't matter. Take a look at every law you follow through, even the ones you personally follow. And what I do believe you'll find is that every one of the laws you follow fit inside the three I follow. Be true to yourself first. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. Energy out, energy in. Okay, now those are the four karmic laws that I follow. They're the only ones I bother following. Everything else fits inside them. Okay, now there are laws that exist that I don't agree with. There's a lot of financial laws that exist that I don't agree with. Okay, now let's stay in. I'm doing my best to stay focused on this. You do realize that. Well, maybe not. Okay. But where it comes to the finances. Okay. Right now, I've got everything caught up to date. I finally got my, my income taxes all up to date. And now I can move forward with it and start building things. As a matter of fact, let's see if I've got this up here. Okay, no, that's not what I need. So we're going to open this little file up, which is a necessity. <clears throat> okay, just a rough gauge. We've got six there. We've got five there. That's 11. Now, what I was aiming at for the end of this month, for the end of, for the end of April, was to have, was literally to have 10,000 in the bank. 
okay, that was sitting there, as it's the in-between three accounts. Now, that said, what I've got here is I've got almost five there. I've got another six there. Now we're up to 11. And a little bit more, and I'm not anywhere near what I desire as far as my as far as my business account goes, but it is climbing. Now, my goal was to hit, I wonder if I've got that information. I can, well, the reason I repeat and report this to you is not because you require to know it, but because of the fact that by doing so, you know, by, by reporting it, it, it shows you this is what I'm working through. Now, my goal was to bring in through any means, whether that is employment, government, business, or finding it, it didn't matter. I was aiming at generating 3,500. Remember this fine little list? The idea was for me to generate 3,500. I required 25 to run the house. Well, I'm quite happy to say today is only the 16th, and I've already brought in what do we got here? Five, six. I've already brought in, and of course, I can tell where it all came from, but I've already brought in six grand. Me, now, this is not to make you feel bad. This is sim simply to say this is what I'm generating, and what I've brought in, what I've acquired. Now, the important factor is that five grand of that, and I don't care where it came from. This is the important part here. Doesn't matter where it came from. Getting my income tax and the back medical and what have you sorted out, I ended up bringing in most of that money was from income from back from back pay on income tax. Okay, but the point being, I said legally generated, which means it's legally mine. I did not get a loan for it, for it. This was money that came in. I was aiming for thirty five. I'm already over five. Now, will I bring it up next month? That depends on what I brought in by the end of this month. Okay, via my normal income. Normal income for me is my my employment, my contract work, any book sales. Okay, and the normal government checks up here that I get, which are my child tax credit and my and my GST. Now, if you're not in Canada, some of those won't make any any sense to you. But that's okay. Okay. Those are the standard incomes I've got. The income tax pushed me over the 35. Very important. Was really useful. Got me debt free. I'm happy. Okay. Except that one bill that's hanging over my head that's not mine. So as you can see, and this is, this is why I'm stating it to you. It's not to say I'm better than anybody. As a matter of fact, you think about it. I'm 15, I'll be 59 in a month. And I've only just got my head on straight. I'm hoping if you're, if you're younger than I am, <clears throat> even, well, even if you're not, I'm hoping that showing you, that offering you these tools that I personally use and that are personally working, okay, that you will get the footing to get to where I am now way earlier in your life. Okay, money is not the be-all and end-all. But I will tell you, the lack of stress around it is phenomenal. Because if you think about it, just sitting free cash, like open cash that I've got easy access to, bearing in mind, I'm looking at $2,500 a month to run my household, to run everything at. But if I'm sitting on 11000 available, this means I've got almost four months okay i've got just about four months where if i was all of a sudden unemployed i'm good for four months that's not a great deal of time okay but i fully intend on adding to that and this is why you keep tabs on where your money is if you know how to track it this is fantastic if you do not, and I'm talking track your money, I don't mean putting a budget together. Budgets, frankly, in my opinion, only work if you have a definitive amount of money coming in. 
has him with, and I've got a contract, one particular contract that I that I work on, has a definitive balance that every month, this is how much comes in. And because of that, because, oh, and I forgot to move that money over to my mad money. Well, can't have that happen very much, can we? What do we got here? Now, here's the thing. My paycheck came in two days ago, and I forgot to do this. But because the paycheck was just over, it was it was just over nine hundred dollars, but it didn't make a thousand. Okay, because of that, I go in the in the full hundred dollars. Now I told you, and I've mentioned this before. Mad money is what you use to be able to go out and do whatever you will. Okay. Now, what this means is with a 900 and a 900 plus plus paycheck coming in, I have nine dollars there because that's one percent more and more specifically, one percent gives me nine dollars and sixty cents. Now, I could go into points and what have you, but I'm not going to bother. But I go over to my mad money and I've got fall. I what. Where's my penny? Uh, where the heck is it? Okay, Mad Money, right there. On the 14th, well, this is the 16th we're doing it, so we keep it real. And on the 16th, which is today, okay, I'm taking my tracking and adding to, adding to my balance here, okay, I've got to take a look at that because I think I wiped that out. But I'll have to update that today. So that goes on my list. Okay, to make sure I get finances sorted out. But I have going into my into the mad money, into the money that I can go do what I please. I have an extra nine dollars and sixty cents because it was a paycheck of nine hundred and sixty dollars plus. Okay. But I don't take 10. I take the, you know, 960. 960, in all fairness, I recommend it. I think I'm just going to make this happen. Round it off to the nearest 100. When you break your your $100 mark, that's when you add a dollar. If it's $190 you made, only take the one, you know, if, if it's, yeah, if it's $190, you only take $1. If it's, if it's $201, you take two dollars. You take the two dollars because you broke the two hundred. So, with a nine hundred and sixty dollar paycheck, I only take nine dollars of that and move it into move it into my Mad Money account, so I can actually see what I'm in, what I've got. And where do we go here? Okay, drawing a blank here, so we're going to put that aside until I get done this. Oh, wow, that's why I'm putting it aside. Okay, anyway, I will be back again tomorrow. Okay, until then, tomorrow we're going to start looking at more of the home. More of the feel and getting the place tied, uh, sorted around. We're going to start tomorrow with the idea of how to tangle a big job and break it down into smaller jobs. Okay. But, that said, I will be back again tomorrow. Until then, take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.